Hello everyone and welcome back to It's Our Day and something is different yet again. Let's go figure out what it is. So we have had another outfit change. And this is exciting because it means a lot more performances. Woohoo! So you guys are going to be dancing um, differently and you guys are not wearing saris but dresses. So I'm guessing upbeat, dancey, dance. Is, is that something I can expect from the next couple of performances? Um, yeah. I'm getting really good at this We're guessing alert. game. <laughs> I'm getting super good at this guessing game. So uh, you're going to be doing the next performance for us yeah. today. And this is your first performance without wearing the sari. Are you secretly happy? <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, so what's the next dance that you're going to be doing for us? I'm a desert shop, Napuri. Oh, okay, another Nuzrul Um yeah. So, like, we've had the Rum Jum Jum Jum, and then we had Shukno Patar, and you know, now I'm a desert shop, Napuri. Like, they're very, very um, cool, cool songs that we love uh, listening to and obviously watching dancing to. So, I cannot wait to see your performances. Check. While you're getting ready, we have a caller on the line. Let's find out who's on the line. Hello, who's calling? Alaikum. Hello, Salam alaikum, who's calling? Yeah, my name is Assad, I'm calling from London. Hi, how are you finding our show today? Well, I'm actually, I'm a, I'm a rather old adult. And hearing your um, rather encouraging remarks about England and Bangladesh, I, I, was, I felt I could contribute a little bit more to this as well. Of course. May I? Yes, of course. Uh, well, I think Bangladesh's relationship with England is at least 500 years, believe it or not. In fact, in terms of the South Asian region, we probably have the longest connection with England um, as compared to the rest of the Indian subcontinent. And in fact, Bangladesh, or the land of Bengal, in, you know, to translate into English, that's what Bangladesh means, the land of Thank you. Thank you very much for your input uh, and a little history lesson uh, for the viewers and for the kids here. I'm sure uh, we all love our history and we all will love to learn a lot more about both countries, seeing as we are growing up and learning a lot about both cultures. So that's thank you very much for your phone call. We really do appreciate it. And now we are moving on to uh, Shona's performance to one of my favourite, favourite songs. Cannot wait to see this. Take it away. <laughs>
Well done, that was amazing. Well done, that was really, really cool. I think that song couldn't have come at a better time, you know, telling, just reminding everyone, you know, to be nice, no lying, you know, everything is super, super happy and that's how we love it. So well done, that was a really, really nice performance. Thank you. Hey, no, thank you, because it's a really, really cool performance. Um, so now I think we can tell everyone at home about the super surprise, the little duet, right? I think we can tell them now, right? I think okay. so. So, you two are sisters, yeah. and mm -hmm. you're going to be doing a little dance for me, aren't you, together? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, is your sister bossy? And she's like, you're not doing it right, Srija, do this right. Is she ever doing that, or is she always encouraging you to do better? Always. Always, yes, I love that. And what about you? Is it nice dancing around with your little sister sometimes? I mean, this is the first duet we've ever done together. Wow, ever. So, so yeah. Um, well, I've performed it before, but obviously this is the first like, song we've done. Um, she's a very good dancer, and I'm yes. so proud of her. Like, Aww. Same. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> like, in all terms, her goal is always to be better than me, and she, so far she's achieving it. And like, <laughs> But no, I'm proud of her. And yeah, no, she's most of the time quite easy to teach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't wait to see this performance. So what are you guys dancing to, Srija? Why don't you tell me? Um, we're dancing to Sh Jolo Shabai. Oh, okay. And how long? So you, you said that you've learnt the song first. Yeah. And then you taught it to Srija. Yeah. Okay. And how long did it take for you to learn the song? It took. Um, we did it um, in a performance um, before, and then like the day before we learn it, mm -hmm. we learnt the whole dance. But it took a lot of breaks mm -hmm. because like. It's a very jumpy song. So aside from being a human rights lawyer and a journalist, when you guys are winding down at home, would you maybe in the future dance together? Like two sisters dancing yeah, I'd love together you to on stage. That. Wouldn't that be so super cool? You know, part-time lawyer, part-time dancer, part-time journalist, part-time dancer. I think that's super cool, isn't it? Yeah, that'd yeah. be yeah. awesome. What about you, Sean? In the future, do you see yourself dancing on stage and stuff like that in the future? Yeah, I would be able I would like to do it, mm -hmm. but then I might no, think... No, no but then no. You will do it. I think it's such an amazing talent. And of course, you said that you loved uh, dancing. I'm sure that won't change. Yeah. So it'd be really, really nice uh, in the future when I'm like old, you know, watching TV by myself, you know, being old grandma and I'm changing channels. I'm like, hey, I know that young lady. And it'll be you guys. And I, I'd really be a few proud. years older than us. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so it was super, super cool. Um, to see you guys performing and stuff, I think that's an amazing prospect. Um, like maybe on like something like uh, uh, Britain's Got Talent or some show like that, because I know some of you might have some experience going on talent shows, don't you think? Yeah. Mm. Have you guys ever been in talent shows? Yeah, um, when I was about three years age, um, I was in year three, I entered is Bonji Monkey Junior Champs, mm -hmm. and um, I did a dance, and I came joint first. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Super, super late, I'm sorry. But that's really, really impressive. Wow, and Srija, I know you're going to be going on one of my favorite shows, uh, The Voice, right? We've confirmed, but we don't know. Okay, I'm gonna be keeping my eye, eyes out for you. But um, say if you guys were to go to a singing um, competition or a dancing competition, what song or would you dance to? Do you think? Say if there was like a, a dancing show, something like X Factor, um, for the next dancing sensation in the world, what song would you dance to? Um, I'm not really sure. I think, as you said earlier, I think I might want to do a fusion. Mm, interesting. Styles. Yeah, and what about you, Shona? What kind of stuff would you dance to? I'm not sure, but 
I like to try something new, like I never done before and try it. And mm. I, but I'm not really sure what I would like to do. Mm. And what about you? What, what's the thing you would like to dance to? Uh, I've seen it on TV before, ballet slash hip hop. Oh, I've seen that as well. I, I think it's super We're watching cool. it this morning because me and Sridhar are huge fans, probably the biggest fans of the next step. Yeah, oh. we love. <laughs> we we um, they had the movie it's on the TV, yeah. and like we wanted to go. Like I imagine myself as a um, as a fan, like as a staying on the um, audience <laughs> yeah. space because I I love them a lot. Um, season four is coming up. She's had some sneaks on Instagram. <laughs> I am going to keep an eye out for this thing because I have never seen it, believe it or not. Um, taking the next step, which um, they're allowing a guest person to yeah. come on the show. Which Ooh, is kind of in the finals on Monday. It's the grand final on Monday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Only so what, what is this show that I'm missing um, out basically on? Basically, the next step is like, there's loads of people that be dancing and it's acting, but then they did season three but then after they're doing season four, but if then they wanted some other people, to one person to go on, so they did, they're taking the next step. So there's like four people or five people, I'm not really sure, that's on it now. So that's my, three. Oh yeah, three. Mm. And this Monday, I think, um, it's going to be only one person that will be dancing with them. The wow, this step. actually sounds really interesting. I might go check it it's out. Just like um, so. um, some dancers who first won regionals and they went to nationals yeah. and then they went to internationals. Wow. And so everyone's waiting for season four. Okay, I think I might keep There's my eyes peeled. There's a lot of drama, yeah. very so much drama. Very like <laughs> like yeah. when, when like it's a competition and they have to like go against other teams. Mm -hmm. In season one, their biggest um, team would be Elite and Ooh. like Lucien in season three on the final. He becomes a judge. He wants. Oh, so that sounds super, super interesting. But I, at the moment, I'm more interested in watching you guys dance. So this is something I've been looking forward to since the beginning of today's show. You guys are going to be dancing together. Yeah. Um, why don't you guys get ready and take it away? I cannot wait to see this performance. In the meantime, viewers, do call in. Let us know how you're finding today's show and how you're finding the performers. And if you were to go onto a talent show and dance, what kind of dance would you do? Do call in and let me know. I'm super interested to find out. In the meantime, girls, can't wait to take it. So take it away. Mm. 
Well done. That was super, super cute. I really enjoyed that. You guys should dance together a lot more often because I think that was really, really cool. Well done, you guys. Thank you. Do you guys enjoy dancing together? Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's, I, I could really tell you guys seem to be having a blast up there. I think it was really, really nice. In the future, would you maybe come to the show and do a lot more duets maybe? Definitely, yeah. Yes, I cannot wait for that. I think it would be amazing. And what about you? Do you like, do you like um, performing with other people or by yeah, yourself? Yeah, I do like performing with other people. And I wish I had a sister like her. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure in your... Because um, I know you perform a lot in groups and stuff. Yeah. Do you prefer that to then, then dancing by yourself? Which one do you? Um, yeah, I like performing with people. Like it's more fun. You got more fun, and it's more fun. And you you smile a lot, and you have like a blast. And when if you do a mistake, you look at the person like, oh my god, you did a mistake, and they smile at you. I know. But then when you come out of the stage, you talk about it and you have a laugh with it. Oh, okay. And I know you performed in the Boy Shakimela, and was that yeah. in a group as well? Yeah. Um, how many of you was in that group? Um, for, we did a half song, half song, so I would say there was like six people when we were doing the first half, mm -hmm. but then one person went off, then it was five. Oh, okay. And d did you enjoy that in front of the huge crowd? Because I know you mentioned earlier that that was the largest crowd that you yeah. performed in front of so far. So they were screaming, so it's like funny to see them. I think that's really nice that they were encouraging you to keep dancing. Yeah. Have you performed in the Mela tour? Um, yeah, about like three, four times. Wow. How would you find that experience? Do you prefer, do you like it? Yeah, it was really nice, especially as like after. Obviously, there are so many shops. Like, I like going around my dance um, mm. members and, yeah, having a look. Looking around the stores yeah. and having fun. What about you, Srija? Um, I've never been on stage, but I like Wishikimela because, like, there are a lot of rides and you can have a lot of fun there. Yeah, totally. I mean, I love going there because there's a lot of food stalls, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of food stalls that is there for you to enjoy and I do like getting a bit of each little thing and having some of the traditional curries and traditional but stuff. But you know when she said she never, she never performed in the stage but she just did now? Oh yes, that's true. You didn't perform in, front, in the Boy Shakimela but you're performing for us now and I love that. So would you like to perform in the Boy Shakimela maybe one day? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you'd be super cool at doing that. And I actually, we'll keep an eye out for you guys uh, in the future. So, in school and stuff, do you guys have dance classes or lessons? Um, yeah. Do you know the Do you know China Children teaches yeah. me on Sundays? She's as well my school teachers for oh, dancing, so I get okay. extra practice. And my friends in school they get jealous <laughs> of me. Oh, so you're like a mini expert in, uh, <laughs> yeah. in school. Like, say if they want, like, oh, how do I do this? How do I do this? And you can. But then, like, we do have like separate years, like year five, year six, and year seven. Mm -hmm. I mean, year six. So like I'm in the group of year five, but then Tracy shared you to them who comes to the show, they group of year six, so they do that. But when you're all together, us three are like the big people. Like if Chan is injured or something, we're the ones that we're showing to everybody and it's yeah. a lot of fun. That's cool. So what kind of stuff do you guys learn in the school, in your primary school? Um, in is it like Bangla Gun that you're dancing to? Um, no, in school we do Bollywood dance oh, and stuff, okay. but outside we do Bengali dances. Okay, that's, that's actually really fun and interesting because obviously it'd be similar sort of dancing, isn't yeah. it? Just with a different song, let's say. Yeah. So I think, you know, it's cheat. <laughs> little uh, easy for you guys. I think you guys should get a little bit of a harder song maybe. Um, I disagree with I you. I pass that information on and put you through a little test, but I think you guys would be super amazing. Would you like to do some, do you do Bollywood dancing at all? Um, yeah, I, I do quite a lot of Bollywood dancing and I really enjoy it. Mm. And like, I'm really, I mean, in primary school, we haven't had that many like dance opportunities. I mean, we had a competition and my class, as classes, and I choreographed most of it, we came second. So that was oh, pretty that's good. really good. But next year, I've been around the school about twice, two times now I'm so excited because there are a lot of facilities there mm, I can imagine so uh, your new school you're going to be starting in September and um, they obviously have um, a dance I'm guessing a dance studio yep. for you guys and you have dance classes and stuff yeah do you think um, you would incorporate some of your bangla dancing into the other sort of maybe I'm not quite sure because mm. like we have a chore choreographer for the club mm -hmm. so yeah. oh okay um, that's very nice what about that's you? A cool 
I like to see people like teachers dancing. It's like I remember when our head teacher left, we did dancing, but then China, our teacher said that the teachers must dance. So when the teachers became dancing, it was <laughs> so funny. Like, but you're still <laughs> nice. Like yeah. it's better than us how we started. It's like good. And I used to see like when we went in classroom, we used to see teachers like a break and lunch. Practicing. They're practicing. <laughs> yeah, like, then me and my friends like come to help like to do the teachers like if they do need help. So then one day we see our teachers dancing like this. And I'm like, are you are you gonna be dancing? She was like, no, no, it's a secret. I can't tell you anything about it. Mm. And but then when well, you guys knew, did you yeah. secretly? Is when we went to our teacher, we said, we know you're dancing, we know we're dancing. It's like, we heard, we kind of heard from the teacher's stuff from a little bit, Ooh. which was not really good to do, but Spoil we kind of <laughs> Yes. But we now told that. nobody. Spoilers. But um, in terms of, like, say if you have friends that aren't Bengali, uh, maybe f like English or um, people that don't do, like, Bengali or Bollywood dancing, would you like to teach them? What about you, Srija? Do you have friends that you'd like to teach? Yeah. I've moved to school, so mm -hmm. it's kind of hard because, like, um, in my old school, all my friends, like, there were three main friends that oh, I always... Oh, and you always, did you, and it was... Yeah, we did performances a lot, we oh, sang songs. that's very nice. But we did acts and we did a lot of dancing. We did um, Lean and Dad and oh. we also did... So incorporating the latest dance moves in the world. But we're going to be ending the show with your dance, uh, your last dance. What's the next dance that you're um, going to be doing for us? It's called Shop by Champa. Okay, why don't you get ready in the middle of the stage? In the meantime, to mother show by Onik Onik Dondabad for watching our show today. Thank you so much to everyone that called in. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoy today's show as much as I did because I know I had a blast. But thank you once again for watching the show. I hope you guys enjoy the last performance and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.